It's been 50 years from the last time I did a cigar review. This is gonna be my re rebranding and first review I'll do independently as some poppy cigars. This review is gonna hit a little bit more home to me. And I'm gonna switch cameras for in two seconds. So you see why? Because look at this. I have this box and it's unfortunately faded because I'm part of this group called Shadow Smoker Legion. And I had the whole entire crew sign my box. I will go up, but um, a certain person with the last name Tran kind of ruined the box on the YouTube part. Because if I show something, uh, channel gone. <laughs> There'll be a speed run of having a channel being deleted. Just, just say that it's a very beautifully drawn stick figure, undressed. I'll keep it at that. And I also have somebody else draw a phallic object somewhere in the top part of the back of the box top of the back oh yeah that makes sense getting to the point i was in miami we went to casa cuevas which is why i said it hit home for me because casa and home in spanish the spanish word for home is casa so this hit home for me i think only albert and james would appreciate that joke so what we didn't laugh uh go to hell but it was a phenomenal experience. I knew a little bit about an exclusive cigar coming out, but I didn't know it was going to be this specific cigar being exclusive to us. And I'm going to show you guys right now what I mean by exclusive. And to open this box and to preserve as much as the tape as I can, I'm going to do it in the very traditional way how my friend Tony would do it with a Japanese knife. <laughs> Obviously, I do got to get it fixed up is scratched i've been using that a lot for cooking and steaks and stuff like that but since the blade is so fine it won't even focus because it just disappears i want to try my best as you guys see now on camera too this is why little guy cigar shop shadow smokers legion and casa cueva all in one collaboration i'm in awe That should do it. I did as best as I can to preserve the sticker. As you can see, it's barely a scratch to it. I, other than that, you, you can ignore that. It's now it's time to open. Oh, look at that. You hear that box? You hear that opening? Let's see what that says. You're going to hear my amazing narration. Spanning four generations of the cigar business, our family has been at every level of the cigar production process. From seed to finished premium cigars, be it for several brands throughout the years, we have always endeavored to provide and produce products of the highest quality. Paying particular attention to detail and tradition, so it is that we are proud to introduce our Casa Cueva line of fine, handcrafted premium cigars. Culmination of many years of careful thought and planning, we invite you to enjoy what is sure to be a fantastic smoking experience. Having that day with Luis Cuevas really did show that he did care about cigars and the quality and the experience it's time for what we've been waiting for oh, look at that presentation just from the top take it out patrimonial this is the ssl exclusive patrimonial which is only exclusive the little guy cigar shop oh what makes this so special what makes it so exclusive i already hear you guys i could go on this website i could go here i could go to this store i've been to many shops that sell patrimonials how is it exclusive uh I, 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 all right i hear you i get you what's available out there in the market for patrimonials you have the toros the gordo and the robusto gordo that's the only three sizes that's out there in the world for the patrimonial there's only three sizes for the patrimonial currently and every other website and shop. Three sizes only, Toro, Gordo, and Robusto Gordo. That's it. This one, if you see inside the box, 20 Classico Pesando, six by 48. The Toros you find out there are six by 52. The Gordos that's out there are six by 60. And the Robusto Gordo is five by 54. I didn't hear one time about a six by 48. I heard a six by 52, a six by 60, and a five by 54. 
nor did I hear a 6x48. Maybe you prefer cigars actually box pressed. This cigar is also box pressed. The other ones are standard. Not only is ours 6x48, ours is actually box pressed. Getting the SSL version might be worth it. I smoked the Gordo before. I personally enjoyed the Gordo. I personally enjoyed the Robusto Gordo. I also had the pleasure on enjoying the Toro, but I have not yet tried the box press version and the 6x48 until now. Love the sound of cutting cigars. And also in spirit of this collaboration, I'll be smoking it on this ashtray. Mmm. Mmm. Love that smell. Love that smelly smell that smells of the smelly smell. I have to go big for this video. Ooh. One more time. One more time. Ooh. That reverberated. Oh my God. That was music to my ear and music to some other place in my body. Can't discuss on YouTube. Uh, different tube, maybe. But that's content for a SSLOF. Potentially, if Tony, if you want to do it, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get this bad boy lit. Look at that. Oh, immediately I get like a woozy taste. Ooh, that's a burst of flavor. Immediately I get cedar, like extreme cedar, which is like very nice. Oh, that retro was beautiful. Nice, a nice amount of spice, a little sweetness to it and a lot of wood. So either oaky cedar, it's just, it feels like I'm at a campfire i'm glad i actually have this little candle next to me and it's called chris fall nights it is october falls right around the corner i feel like this cigar would be perfect for those nights where you just go to a pit light up a real fire with wood that's what it feels like it feels like going to a pit and just camping and you're just outside the smell you will get at a forest in the fall time when the leaves start falling and you start having that scent of that crisp air. That's what this is. This is the experience I'm getting with this. I know I'm talking about my experience of what I feel with a cigar. And some of you guys are watching the video like, okay, Rick, you talked about the people who actually smoked the cigar and gotten the patrimonial before, and they had it in the Goto and the Robusta Goto and the Toro, but I never had it before. What's the origins? What's the background on it? Well, I'll tell you guys right now. Um, I know Tony, he gave me a note earlier. Um, ah, okay. Uh. <clears throat> so the MSRP will be 1050. Yeah, 1050 each cigar as a uh, individual at Little God Cigar Shop. Uh, I think that is our shadow smoker legion exclusive because of the size the six by 48 that is exclusive to us but you guys can get your hands on it at little guy cigar shop for a 1050 each cigar or there's actually 50 boxes available to actually purchase from and a box comes with 20. uh what else did he say uh um so this cigar is also broken down into three sections for those who are brand new cigars cigars are typically broke down in three sections you have the wrapper, the start of it, on the outskirts of it, it's called a binder, which holds the fillers together so the wrapper could go around. And as I just said, the filler. Okay, Rick, what is the wrapper? What is the filler? What is the binder? I'll tell you guys right now. The wrapper of this beautiful cigar is a Honduras Corojo. The binder of this beautiful cigar is an Ecuadorian Habano. And the filler is Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian. But where was it made? Dominican Republic as well. And the factory is Tabaclara Las Lavas. You have all these different countries, Peru, Honduras, 
Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, all those regions all came together and curated this phenomenal cigar. But Rick, what makes this exclusive cigar so special? I even give you a bonus fact. This is the third time Casa Cueva has ever done a Presando size, which is a six by 48. The last time they did it was with their Habano and their Maduro. Other than that, there has been no other Presando sizes until the SSL exclusive version, which is this patrimonio of Clásico Presando. Also, there's nothing here. For those who are actual viewers, Martin, you know, the person who was never famous, I mean, once famous, people like that might look at this channel and be like, what the hell? This kid is literally reading notes live. He's looking down and reading notes. This is my third channel, guys. I've done reviews before, and I've been doing reviews for three, four years. I'm not some type of rookie. Uh, this is my shopping uh, notepad. Uh, I haven't done grocery shopping in a while, and um, the missus put some stuff there that I needed to get. Get some of you guys wound up thinking that I'm a noob. No. I'm far from that. That's the best way I can explain the cigar. Just campfire. I'll say around this time to October. To me, I feel like October is like the perfect time of year. That's when all the leaves starts falling. You know, Halloween's around the corner. Free candy. I'm fat. So free candy for me. If kids don't come by my house. More candy for me. But you have 60 to 50 degree weathers, sweater weather, horror movies, Halloween, candies. Nighttime just feels way better. I don't know. Something about October feels safer to be in your front lawn or your back patio or just walk into your nearest park and just sitting on the bench for a little bit. This is the cigar I 1,010% will bring on those nights where I decide to still walk to the park that's close to me. When I sit down on that bench, all I want in my hand is this cigar so I can enjoy the cedarness, the oakiness, the sweetness, the hints of spice that comes with the cigar. If you ever had a luxury of enjoying the patrimonio from Casa Cuevas, and their other sizes, which is the Gordo, Rebuso Gordo, and the Toro. You have a very limited time to enjoy this cigar. There's 50 boxes, and there's also be loose bundles. So you can get them as singles, or you can get them as a box. Just to remind you guys one last time, this would not be in any brick and mortar stores. This would not be in any shops nearby you. This would not be in any other websites. Little Guy Cigar Shop will be the only shop carrying the 6x48 Classico Rosando. Of the patrimonial no matter what site you go on no matter what store you go to it doesn't matter if you even go to casa cueva's house <laughs> little guy cigar shop will be the one exclusively carrying this cigar before i end the review and before i end the video i want to give my thanks to four different people number one casa cuevas Lewis invited my family of the shadow smoker legion to his own house he opened up his home to all of us it was about 15 of us. He provided us food, free cigars, dancing, dominoes, games, Cuban coffee. Ugh, just bless that coffee. I miss it. I'm from Jersey. I'm Cuban too, but Cubans are kind of scarce here in Jersey. So being in Miami, but being surrounded by nothing but Cubans. Ah, oh, thank you for that. But from the food, from the coffee, from the experience, from the free cigars, from his time. You no, know, he's a very busy man. He's the owner of Casa Cuevas. He has cigars to make. He has to test blends. He has to make sure everything's running. He is a very busy person. And for him to allow us to be at his home for 13 hours, by the way, sorry. We had an amazing time. By far, a memory I would never forget. That's the first person I want to thank. Number two, Tony. Thank you so much for convincing me to go and thank you for convincing me to buy the box and remind me that it could be a write-off. Thank you. My bank account, my accountant will thank you later. So that would be something to the side. Thank you, Tony. As well as you being our fearless leader of Shadow Smoker Legion. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be a member. Number three, Martin and Amaya was never famous. I meant once famous, would never be famous. I mean, once famous. 
Without him, I would have never joined SSL. The talks we had, the time he got me wet, same thing. He gave me memories I would never forget. And I truly, truly appreciate the fact you know, he picked me up. He didn't leave me behind. He literally was Ohana. I truly appreciate the fact that when I was left behind because I woke up late. So it was my fault. I admit to that. It was my fault. I woke up late. I was left behind. He went out his way to come get me anyways. I appreciate the fuck out of you, Martin. Never famous. Once famous. Damn it. Fuck. Thank you so much, brother. Love you to death. Last person I want to thank is Mr. Brandon Wells. Brandon Wells left me a very beautiful message on my box, um, which is right here. Uh, Pick a Rick. Love you long time. That my heart. I, I'm, I'm slowly getting teary eyes just from reading that again. Love you long time. All right, give me one second. But on a serious note, <laughs> without Brandon, none of this would have happened without Brandon. He orchestrated the meets with EP. He orchestrated the meets with Casa Cueva. He, he orchestrated the meets that we had with Espinosa. He was the person that gave us a purpose to Miami. That's a big job. He gave us a reason. When it comes to the Legion, Tony agreed every two years will be a meet. This meet, Brandon orchestrated everything and it came out flawless. I had a hell of a time. This was personally my first meet and I am geared 100,000% to go to future meets. If it's gonna be orchestrated by Brandon, 10 toes down, 10 fingers down, neck down, ass up, I will go 1,000%. Thank you so much, Brandon, for making this a reality for all of us. You've been amazing. I truly, truly appreciate you. 100%. Thank you again, Brandon. On that note, guys, I'm going to enjoy this cigar for a little bit. Give you guys a little update. Once again, this is a box press Asando. The taste of woodiness is getting more intense as it's burning. Typically, people have categories for cigars. They would categorize a cigar as a golf cigar, which is a cigar. They don't care about the taste. They just want to smoke something as if they're doing an excursion or they're doing something as a pastime, tennis, golf, hence the why it's called golf cigar editing whatever your job may do that you're not really focusing on the cigar you just want something to puff those are the ones that are typically on the budget side that you just don't care about then you have your everyday smokes the everyday smokes are the ones that you want anytime it could be either when you're doing something you're at work at lunch break at home at night this that this is a cigar that you could count on anytime any day or any occasion that is an everyday cigar and then you have the special occasion cigar those are typically the ones are on a higher budget range. Things you only want to get once in a blue moon just to enjoy. I'm going to add a new category. Not only do I feel like this could be a good everyday cigar at 1050. That's not bad. I think this cigar deserves two categories. This could be perfect for everyday at 1050 MSRP. Come on. That's not bad. That's not going to brick your wallet. 1050 a day. That's not bad. Think about it. MSRP 1050 a stick. A box would be 210. That's not a bad deal to enjoy this. With a 6x48, this can last you a good 45 minutes to an hour. Having this every day is something I don't mind having. My second category, to me, this is a vacation cigar. I was in the Dominican Republic before going to Miami, and I wish, 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 now after having this, I wish my trips were in reverse. I wish I went to Miami first, then went to DR, because I could already see myself on the beach next to the coconut trees with this bad boy right here. Look at the design of the band. Their band is gorgeous. So imagine having this cigar by the beach next to coconut trees, relaxing. This would be my ideal cigar date. I would not mind having a little date by myself with the ocean and the air and the trees. That was an all-inclusive, whatever they want to give me for drinks. Having this by my side would have made that vacation even more perfect than it was. Very smooth, sweet, oaky, cedar, tad bit of spice. If those are the things you look forward in a cigar, Little Guy Cigar Shop, SSL, exclusive, 6x48, Classico, Presando, Casa Cuevas, Patrimonio. This has been my review. Until next time, guys, as always, I love your face, and I'm out. Peace.